against Russia. We got 20 more rounds to go. You don't know him? Stranger to me. We'll take him on over to the funeral parlor. Mr. Cartwright, I'd like to ask you a few more questions. Fine. description fits about half the women in this part of the world. Can you pin that down a little bit? Yeah, that's the best I can do. I'm sure I'd recognize if I saw her again. I wonder if you'd mind riding out there with me and show me where you found that body. Be glad to. Oh, um, one more thing. I'm gonna have to ask you to stay around town till I can arrange an inquest. Maybe tomorrow, day after at the latest. Sorry to inconvenience you, but there's no help for it. It's no problem. I'll send a telegram to my father and warn about it. No, I'd appreciate it. 
Now, sir, I'm sure your son hasn't checked in here. And this is the only hotel in Morbonnet. I knew it. That bird, I knew it. When he told us he'd meet us here, I knew we wouldn't see you hiding in a hurry. Young, we got them horses back. Now oh, he'll be alone. You want to make a little bet on that? All I'm interested right now is a cold drink and a hot meal. Up the stairs to your left, sir. Thank you. You know, even with little Joe, we're still going to need a couple of, couple of hands for those horses. How we get them? Well, I guess I've seen all there is to see here. Hey. Hmm? Take a look at this. That pretty well narrows it down. It's a woman, and her first or last name starts with L. Where'd you find this? Right over there in the tall grass. Yeah, well, it, it might mean something. Let's get back to town. Yes, Kitty, and it's mine. I knew that. What I don't know is what it was doing at the scene of a murder. Well, I'm waiting. I tried to tell you, Gideon. I, I tried, but I couldn't. I'd give anything if it hadn't have happened. You mean you were out there? You, you killed him? Who was he? Harry Loomis. You told me he was dead. I thought he was dead. I knew he was. I believed that. I'm sure you did. As close as our marriage has been, I'd know if you were lying. Marriage, no, it was bigamy. Gideon, we didn't know. Your husband shows up and now he's dead. As soon as that comes out, there's no way back for us. I don't want you hurt. That's the last thing I want. <laughs> That's not going to help. Sit up here with me. Tell me all about it. Ah, how you doing? Buenos dias, senor. What a fine cobayo you have. Hey, you take care of him for me? It will be an honor and a pleasure, senor. I have never seen a more beautiful animal. Yeah, well, how much to take care of? For you, senor, a dollar a day with feed. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make it a dollar and a quarter if you do me a favor. Certainly, senor. Anything you ask. Put your hat back on, stand up straight, and wipe that silly grin off your face. <laughs> Where can I find the telegraph office? It's right across the street, senor. Good enough. Thanks. <laughs> kill me if I didn't go with him. He was trying to push me into the buggy. I 
Sawyer's gun. You would have killed me if I had no shot him. I believe you. No one else will. No, I'm afraid not. Oh, why did you go out there, Lydia? What good did you think it would do? I thought I could persuade him to go away and leave us alone. I should have known better. You know, this man Cartwright can identify you. What are we going to do? I don't know. I'll think of something. Meanwhile, you're going to stay here in the house. Out of sight. Testified at coroner's inquest. Details when I see you, don't worry. No troubles. You're fine. Coroner's inquest. What that's about? Mm -hmm. Give me an idea, though. What? Well, we can go to Black River, find out what this is about, and maybe pick up some wranglers. All right, let's go. We'll leave in the morning. Mr. Cartwright? Sure, sure. Talk to you for a minute. Anybody want some coffee, something to eat? No, good steak. No, no thanks. Just want to tell you that I've identified the man you found. Oh, yeah? Put a name to him, anyway. Harry Loomis, Denver. Send a telegram to the Denver police, see what they can tell me about him. Anyway, I don't see any reason for you to... Stay around Black River. What about the inquest? Just give me a signed statement about what you saw and heard, and you can be on your way. Look, I've already sent that telegram to my father. I think I'll just stick around. Can if you want. Don't see any need of it. Well, look, I'm the only witness. Next day or two, I might spot the woman. I could identify her for you. You might. Suit yourself.
Now, I want four or five of you men to go with Colton, get every horse off the street and out of the livery stable, take him out to Colton's ranch. The rest of you go with Sam Hicks. He'll post you all around town. I've got a hunch this man Cartwright is pretty handy with a gun. I don't want anybody getting hurt. So if anybody corners him, you just let me know and I'll handle it. Lock this stuff up. We've got work to do. Come on over here. Where they take the horses? To Senor Colton's rancho, Senor. The hippies says all the horses in town must be taken to there. How far away is it? Three miles. Maybe four to the south. Why'd you come up here? There was blood on the ladder, senor. If you know I was up here, why didn't you tell them? Senor. Come on, put your hat back on and answer me. I did not want to get mixed up in this thing, senor. What thing? What did the sheriff say happened up there? 
He says when he tried to ask you questions about the man you found, you, you ran away from him. Everybody believed him. The whole town. How about you? You believed him. Why didn't you tell him I was up here? You were here and you might shoot me. Come on, you're a bad liar. If you're afraid I'd shoot you down there, why'd you come up here looking for me? I do not like to see any man in trouble, Timmy. You saw what happened out there, didn't you? Senor, when my father died, El Jefe gave us food and money. He said... Answer me. You saw what happened out on the street. I saw. What are you going to do about it? Senor, my mother works for El Jefe and his senora, and he gave me this job here at this table. At what point you said that? El Jefe and his senora, he's married, huh? See, he's married. What's his wife look like? She's very beautiful, senor. What's her name? Lydia. Lydia. Senor, anybody in town will tell you that Jefe is a fine, honest man. And I cannot speak against him. Oh, he's a great guy. In Black River, Senor, the truth is what El Jefe says. And even if it wasn't, Senor, do you think the gringos would take the word of a pelado? No, I suppose not. What's your name? My name is Luis Valdez. Well, Luis, I can't run and I can't hide, so... You want to get the sheriff? Just go on and get him. I am sorry, senor. If it was not for my mother. Don't be sorry and don't apologize. Just do what you have to do. Colton and the other men searched the barn when they came for the horses. And they laughed too. Al, Charlie! Barn's already been searched. You tried to kill him, didn't you? 
Just a minute. Don't idiot. lie to me, Gideon. Please don't even try. I heard the shot. When I ran out, I saw Cartwright on the ground, wounded. Got into the alley, and, and you came after him with your gun in your hand. You did try to kill him, didn't you? What happened, Gideon? Why would you? Well, I... I talked to him one night when he was having supper in the saloon. Tried to get him to leave town. Told him he wouldn't be needed for the inquest, but he... He wouldn't go. So you decided to kill him? To protect me? No, not then. I didn't know what I was going to do with him. I just... Get you out of town till the inquest was over or something. I don't know. I started home tonight, I saw him. We were alone on the street together. All I could think of was, here's a stranger, a man I don't know or care about who could ruin our lives. Even then, I didn't do anything until he Stopped and looked in the photographer's window. My picture. He'd forgotten it was there till he stopped. Till he saw it. Till he recognized it. All he'd have to do is ask anybody in town and they'd tell him who killed Loomis. It seems so easy. Well, he wasn't. And I'm glad. Uh, you know what'll happen now, don't you? Let it happen. You know, the first thing they'll say in court, you didn't bother to divorce Loomis before you married me. We'll tell them the truth. Ah, uh, they won't listen. So you met Loomis out of town, shot him, so I could call him a drifter and put him in a box and bury him, so all our troubles would be over. They know us better than that. No, you're wrong. Try them. It's too late, Lydia. Cartwright's out there with a bullet in him, now my bullet. How do I explain that? You think he'll, he'll accept an apology? Just get on his horse and ride out of town, let us alone. You can't have him hunted down and killed. It's too late. Gideon, you can't do it. Go on home, Lydia. And this time, stay there. Get us out of this
brought some food here. Sheriff, as you said, you know, you could have killed me. Just talk. See. But you could have forced me to help you, and you didn't. You do not treat me like a pedado. You understand why I cannot. Sheriff. You cannot stay here. Senor Colton will come very soon and he will find you. You must go away with me. We will find a place for you to hide. very bad, senor. You must have a doctor. Luis, who is he? He's the man the sheriff is looking for. That was me. He was hiding in the stable and he would have been found there. And you bring him here? There was no other place. What is the matter with you? To help such a man is crazy. Mama, they gave a lie about me. Get him out. No, I was there. I saw him. He shot him for no reason. Get him out. No, he is going to stay. You will see. Mama, did you hear me? A jefe is lying. Senor Bates is our friend. Your friend, Mama, not mine. Luis. A friend does not refuse to let you repay a kindness. He did not give us food and work and money to help us. He gave it to buy us. He does not want to be our friend. He wants to be our patron. Do you know what can happen to you for helping this man? See, si. and I'm just as afraid of as you are. If there is one thing I am more afraid of, 
And that is what will happen to me if I do not help him. You said I had to be a man. What kind of a man did you mean? Tonight I will get us horses and I will help him get away. But now he must rest. Let's go to work. If I do not, the Senora Bates will come to see what's the matter. What's the matter? It's my mother, senor. She's very, very sick, and you must come right away. All right, I'll get my bag and be right with you. Is that Luis with Dr. Miles? Oh, si, senora. Turning east at the corner, toward your end of town. Maria, what is it? What do you mean, senora? You know perfectly well what I mean. Something's the matter. Something's very much the matter from the way you're acting. Senora, do you know what Luis is doing with Dr. Miles? Oh, senora. And you're not curious about it, are you? Si, senora. You're not telling me the truth, Maria. Something's troubling you, and I want to know what it is. <laughs> Maria, what is it? Perhaps I can help. Tell me. Tell me. It is Luis. Luis, what about Luis? He, he, he what? He brought that man to our hotel. Man, what man? The man that Senor Bates is looking for. He's hiding him there. <laughs> I am Dr. Miles. Luis got me here under false pretenses. He told me his mother was ill. I had to, amigo. Your leg is very bad. Well, I'm only guessing, of course, but I'd say you're Mr. Cartwright. Yeah, that's good guessing, Doc. He's a friend of yours? Yes, see. I'd be interested to know how that came about. First, I'd better have a look at that leg. Well, what have you done, amigo? I found him in the livery stable. He was trying to find his way out. What did he say about Cartwright? Well, the way he was mumbling, I couldn't make it out. Nothing but the name. Get some of this into him. The old man don't need you anymore. Uh, Sheriff, would it be all right to bring the horses back from the ranch now? Yeah, go on, bring him back. 
Stories true or not cut, right? Doesn't make a bit of difference. So then we stole it. It is a big man. I don't just say that because I'm a friend of his. I know what he's done. Just what has he done? When the mine petered out, he kept this town from going to rot the way a hundred other silver camps in the territory have. And one way or another, he kept Black River alive. In the past 15 years, we've had enough fires, droughts, all around hard times to kill a town a dozen times over. Except that Gideon just won't let it die. Gideon's more than just the sheriff of Black River. He is Black River. Luis, for your sake, I'm not going to say anything about this, but uh, get him out of here as fast as you can. Maybe a half is let the horses be brought back to town. I will go and see, huh? Okay, you watch out for yourself. And you rest, huh? I tried a whole cop like for his sheriff. I could have done it too if you'd have somebody help me. Who? Is that Mexican that works down the livery stable? Put the revolver away, Mr. Cartwright. You won't need it. But you told the fellow outside of town, Mrs. Bates. How do you know who I am? Why don't you bring your husband with you so he could finish what he started last night? I don't want you killed, Mr. Cartwright. Any more than I wanted to kill Harry Loomis. You know, for some reason, I don't find that very reassuring, Mrs. Bates. Maybe that's because when I found Loomis, he was very dead. Because he tried to kill me. Well, I'll try not to make the same mistake. Now, why'd you come here? Mr. Cartwright, I'll help you get out of town. If you'll go away and forget that I'm the woman that you saw yesterday. And if I forget your husband tried to kill me last night? Yes. And you and the sheriff lived happily ever after. And it's after he's looked me up and put a bullet in my head so I don't talk. No, Mrs. Bates, we're going to keep each other company. Just so I get a horse and get out of this town. Sit down. Come on, sit down. I wouldn't get your hopes up either. I'm not going to ride very far, just a war bonnet. I understand there's a U.S. Marshal over there who takes a very dim view of Tridapi Long. Yes. You in charge here? See. Si. You got room for a couple of horses? Sure. Listen, I want you to give them a good rough down. Real good now. And don't give them any water too soon. Give them a quarter of oats and some good hay. We'll be over at the hotel. Si, senor.
doesn't deserve to have his life ruined because of one moment of weakness. Believe me, Mr. Cartwright. Gideon's a good man. Oh, He's come on, Mrs. Bates. Bates. If he was a better shot, he'd be a murderer. Yeah. All right, Cartwright, drop the gun. Gideon. Right. How much have you told Everything. Good. Well, let me open now. You know what my wife did is in self-defense. Maybe. That doesn't excuse the bullet you put in my leg. That was a mistake. I'm gonna make that right. You and I are going on down to the jail and get this straightened out. Well, it's all but over now. He's not taking me to the jail. He can't. He wants you out of here so he can kill me and you won't see it. No, he wouldn't. Well, I'm home, Lydia. Even if you kill me, you lose. Always the stable boy saw you shoot me last night. He'll talk. Balado? Mexican? Who's gonna take his word over mine? Gideon, you can't. If I don't shut him up, he'll ruin us. I got it, Lydia. Okay. <laughs> Sheriff just tried to kill me. I saw his wife on the road the other day after she killed on us. He's telling the truth. To protect me. This came in the mail an hour ago. Thomas was wanted for murder. Dead or alive. Well, what do you mean, we? Well, 
your father has hired me to drive you to war, Bonnet. Maybe even to your rancho. A couple of my friends are going to help drive your horse. Oh, look, I still think it's silly. You're going to a lot of trouble for nothing. I'm not hurt that bad. I can ride a horse. Your leg needs another week of healing before you ride. The doctor says so. And he's the boss, Jesse. <laughs> All right, I won't argue with you. Now have your own doctor take a look at that leg when you get home, just to be sure. I will. Thanks, Lenny. I'm sorry about what happened. Yeah, so am I. Take care. All right, let's go, amigo. Yeah.